right, we're going to switch over to some Dwarf Fortress. We played like 30 minutes last stream. So it's not going to be in the VOD, but all we added, we just added a Claire's to the Walmart. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, well, duh. Claire's. Um, basically, what the Claire's is set up to do is um, create glass gems. Basically, I'm making like shitty beer glass and then cutting them into beautiful like like hand cut carved gems and then encrusting them on every single piece of like furniture we have in the in the fortress. You know those like you know those like windows that people make in like recycled homes that are like broken beer bottles and then cement. We're basically doing that but with every single piece of furniture in the fortress. Is there a nasty subway by the entrance <laughs> like the sandwich place? Um no there's a parking lot. You know, all of our food is down here. So, <laughs> but you're giving me ideas. Don't give me ideas. Don't give me ideas. Because then I'd want... Because I might just turn... Don't, don't tempt me, because I might turn this into a McDonald's down here. We have yellow stone. We don't have red stone. So, there is that problem there. Construction, floor bars, material. Do we not have... Oh, there we go. Floor grade. There we go. And then I'm going to channel this out. So I'm... I, this was a project I was in the middle of doing before I got off last last night, which was Wednesday, which was like 30 minutes. We were just... For 30 minutes, we were... Um, we were doing this. I want to finish that. Also, by the way, for those who are actually actively watching and don't have me on in the background, if you look in the channel point redemptions, did I just fucking get rid of the well oh I'm an idiot I got rid of the well because there was no floor holding it up oh I am an idiot and a fool damn it I have to put the well back surrounded by empty space wait do grates not count as land that they can go on oh that's going to be disappointing I may have just screwed everything over um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. There, if you look in the channel point redemptions for 2,500 points, you can name a dwarf. Now, it can either be you. We have some chatters in the chat right now that are, are already dwarves. You could, it could be you if you want it to be. Cheers, Zelikins. Thank you. Hmm. But you can also have it be any name you want. It says so in the description. Just any particular requests you have in it, just detail that when you redeem it. Um, it should ask you to write something down when you redeem it, but um, when you redeem it, we'll be able to we'll be able to give you a dwarf. So if you're if you're someone who's already has a dwarf and you want me to name a dwarf something very specific, then by all means. Oh, there he is, Dwarfy Epstein. Do you have any uh, preference? You just just any dwarf. I, I could just name any dwarf that. No, uh, no particular preference. Ah, I'm so mad. Okay, floor grates don't count as floor. That is quite silly. I would say. Yeah, anyone? Who would be an Epstein? Clerk. This clerk's gonna be an Epstein. Dwarfy. Dwarf. Dwarfry. Dwarfry. Epstein. Clerk. There he is. Is he does he have Epstein like qualities? Don't ask me what those what that means. What an Epstein like quality is. He's creative, he values stoicism, good focus, high social awareness, single minded and vengeful. I slept in a bedroom. This could be bliss. Okay, maybe it is like Epstein. Uh he has a great feel for social relationships. Very single-minded, little time for forgiveness, and will generally seek retribution. Tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications. Often cheerful, doesn't mind wearing something special now and then. Very humble, somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. Tends to avoid any physical confrontations. Works to square natural tendencies with her. 
respect to mar of martial prowess can handle stress prefers everyone live in harmoniously as possible see the funny thing is every other dwarf has some sort of like negative aspect about them except this one this one's like 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 kind of like horrifyingly like chipper which i think is a great great thing for them to have they love slate bismuth moss opal ash gray crossbows breastplates bracelets coins blue pea fowls for their coloration night creatures for their macabre ways and island getaways for their massage um lessons weird okay this is dwarfy epstein thanks for the redeem i need to remove this because i guess i need floor there in order to uh to build a fucking <laughs> to build a well i thought the the floor grates counted as as floor but i guess not it's highly disappointing someone quickly build a floor i have so many dwarves i have 88 dwarves to build a floor thank you there we go beautiful okay the well is gonna be completed the mayor has their mayoral house, which is like right here. We need to turn this into the vault. But honestly, before I even think about building a vault, let's let's extend the beds out before I forget. Because we did extend them out a little bit here. We have 88 dwarves, and I don't even think we have enough beds for them to sleep in, and that's fine. They can sleep on the cold, hard dirt. They love that. Dwarves are always telling me how much they love the cold, hard dirt. Love the the uh, the macabre. What is it? The I gotta, I gotta really memorize this title. Don't you love the enigmatic charm of dark jazz? Put a one in the chat if you love the anime enigmatic charm of dark jazz. I'm always saying this. like six nine uh, 12 15 more houses perfect okay that's being done these are being cut and subsequently engraved this I still have no idea what to do with this but I think I might turn it into like my main entrance somehow because here's what I'm thinking of doing. I want to create, first of all, I'm going to wall off the entirety of the volcano. So starting here, I'm going to create walls along the entire outer rim of the volcano. So nothing can just kind of meander into it. And then after that, I'm going to create a three by three path that follows the volcano and kind of twists down into the fort like so and then maybe appears here and that's going to be our main entrance because a, a big fort like ours deserves a beautiful a beautiful entrance like that so let's get going on that since andesite's the biggest thing we've got we'll just use andesite blocks for it a little tricky though because they're not gonna be able to reach some of these locations so i have to be 
very particular about where I lay down the blocks right away. I want to get this done tonight because it's going to take a long time just for me to make all the right clicks to get it right. I figured we'd get it right now as we're winding down for the night. We're at 2 hours 40 minutes. Obviously, we're going to go a little bit longer than 3 hours. Hope you're all having a wonderful night, by the way. I know most people dropped off at this point because it's, it's quiet hours now. What's the latest Fortress drama? Nothing. Nothing yet. A lot of the drama comes from uh, comes from either down below or once we get raided. I will say the most dramatic thing that happened right now is building the clairs. Um, what else? The mayor doesn't want me to export any anvils, which is such a damn shame. Um, I've, <laughs> I don't think I've ever crafted an anvil once. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Big Boy Jugs has been reelected twice in a row. But I think because we're disconnected from the mainland, we won't have to worry about goblin invasions for a long time. One of my concerns, speaking on that, one of my worries right now is that we may actually not have anything attack us at all because if you remember, let me show you, we are right here. We're in the middle of nowhere on the edge of the world. No land bridge to us whatsoever. Um, we're going to have to enter. We're going to have to open up the caves in order for to get that. And I think we'll do that here very shortly. But um, this here, this whole area, this is like evil goblin lands. Dark goblin pits of dreadful hoods. This is like, like this is an insanely goblin infested area. Huge goblin like capital basically here. But I don't think they're gonna invade us because I think they need to have a land bridge to do so. Um, and the reason why I'm disappointed in that is because it's very easy once you learn how to play this game to make a fort that doesn't die. Very easy to make a safe fort, but that's no fun. Who wants a safe fort? No one. You want a fun fort. And a fun fort has bloodshed. Because bloodshed is fun. Do you want to expand the fortress to the mainland or just go on an expedition there? No. I don't think you can. Um, first of all, you can't expand fortresses. Once you've established a fortress, you can do expeditions there. But it's, it's very simple. It's like you tell them to go to a location and then they go there and it says like, you know, you tell them to raid it or trade or something. And it says, you know, it either opens up a dialogue box where you trade with them or it just says they successfully raided, they successfully or they failed at raiding. So it's actually kind of very anticlimactic. Um, I feel like they're eventually going to add like an official kind of visualization that you can do. But I think that's pretty far down the line at this point. Um, but even if I could, I can't because I'm on the ocean. I didn't consider that as a problem until I realized that we're not going to get any trade routes established with most of the like neighboring countries and I think we're also not going to get raided by goblins which again obviously if you're in real life if you're in this dwarf fortress yeah you're in the most defensible position ever you're never going to get raided by goblins but me, as the cruel and unforgiving god of this realm, I would very much like my fortress to be raided by goblins at some point, because that would be fun for me. I would have a good time with that. I'd be, have, I'd be having a lot of fun. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to open up the caves and figure that out. What do you mean could not... Could not, could not find path to build. You can build there. Just build it. Item blocking the site. See, I knew this would be a problem. There's nothing blocking the site. You're just being silly. Thank you. 
So I think after we build, we start the beginning of our main entrance, which I realize doesn't matter if we're going to be opening it up into the caves and nothing is ever going to come through the main entrance. Um, once we start the, at least building the wall around here, I'm going to open up the caves and I think that's when things are going to start getting interesting. You'll start getting forgotten beasts. You'll start getting frogman raids. It starts becoming kind of a nightmare um, to deal with. So, which is what we want. We want there to be a nightmare. We want it to be scary. What are you doing? Are you sleep weak? Why are you sleeping there? Why do you fall asleep in the glass? It's because we have no beds. Because we have yet to finish the bedrooms. But of course. Big Boy Jugs no longer ended the export of anvils. We are free to export anvils. Finally. Start anvil production, boys. It's time. But I don't know. We'll open up the we'll open up the caves. If that doesn't start sending us silly little beasts our way, I think we might prematurely end Beer Heaven. Or we don't we won't prematurely end it. I think I'll build the pub and see if we start getting any travelers from the Underdark, basically. And if that doesn't happen, then we're then we're then I'm sad. I'm sad and um we might have to start over. Not start over complete well, we will have to start over completely. But um I don't want to do that. We'd have to put it, we'd have to be established somewhere that's a little bit more open. I've been AFK, do you milk any gorillas? No one's arrived with gorillas yet. We need to open, I was just talking about this. We don't have access to any, like, main trade routes, so I'm going to try opening up the, uh, I'm going to try opening up the caverns and hope that maybe people come through the caves, which I think is something they can do. They better be something they can do. I'll be very sad if it's not. I'm just trying to get them to build this wall, which is is not happening. Why? Oh boy. This is why you never build on slopes. Never build on slopes. Oh. Name one of them the milkable dwarf. <laughs> gotcha. You know what? We've got a milker. We've got plenty of milkers. Where's our milkers at? Farmer, farmer, milker, holy gold. That's fine. He's like a, he's already named milker. There we go. The milkable dwarf. There he is. Impatient, strong, high stamina. Good, you're going to need it. Good with language, values competition. Good, you're going to need it. Disdains perseverance. Yeah, you're going to want to give up very quickly. Personality-wise, preferences. They like chalk, black bronze, alexandrite, the color gray, greats, toy axes, reindeer for their large herds, skunks for their distinctive striping, and the sound of the loot of glitter. When possible, they prefer to consume cassowary, clownfish, rice, beer, and hazelnuts. You ap they absolutely detest oysters. They personally think there is something deeply wrong with people that persevere through adversity and views competition as a crucial driving force in the world. She dreams of raising a family. Well, I hope part of that dream is becoming milked for your dwarven milk. Because you will be. Alright, I'm just doing a bunch of finagling here in order for them to actually build actually build the wall there. Like, we gotta get this done now so that we don't have to worry about it in the future. But there's your milkable dwarf. Our fortress is gonna be fucked up. If you have <laughs> all these names. I'm, if, if anyone drops into the stream who watches Dwarf Fortress, sees some of these names, they're gonna have questions. They're gonna have questions. And I'm gonna have to provide answers. All right, what's the deal, man? Huh? First of all, I'm going to cut this tree down. It's in the way of our building. I, they can't build that. I'm waiting for them to build this. There we go. So build this. It's so bizarre why they can't build that. 
Maybe you have to put floor right there. It's because the andesite block is there. I know it's because the andesite block is there. Oh, the dwarf milker? Fuck. I need the... <laughs> it's your... By the way, you guys have a limit per person. I think it's two per person per stream. Um, I, I'm not sure if it specifies that. Or maybe I didn't accidentally specify that. This guy's going to be called the dwarf milker because he's a farmer. The dwarf milker. Beautiful. All right now, build this. Why not, you stupid bastard? Oh, what? I'm gonna get rid of all this shit. I'm going to try build. It's this one wall is giving me problems. I need this first layer to be complete so they can start building it from the top. Resume construction. Item blocking site. Okay. I need to move that item then. This andesite block is ruining everything. Just get rid of it. Anyone see any good games on spring sale? I have not personally. I need to trim my wish list on Steam. It's pretty bad right now. It's um it's a lot of games I don't give a shit about. And uh, I added them thinking I would that I would play them, but more often than not when I add a game to my wish list, I never play it. So I need to trim through it because then maybe I'll actually find something I actually want. Um, export of hatch covers prohibited. Gotcha, boss. Won't make any hatch covers. Won't prohibit any. Won't sell any of those. Need someone to pick up this andesite block. This is going to take a million years for them to do. That's fine. You know what? I'll wait. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. I'll build all this stuff. You know what I need to do? I'm just actually going to build this floor first because it's actually going to make everyone's life easier. I realize that now. I'm going to build this floor on the outside so that they can actually reach the walls and build the walls. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. I am going to build floor here eventually. The only games on my wish list nowadays are just games that aren't released yet. I trimmed it a while back. That's smart, actually. Honestly, that's really smart. I should probably just do that. So I can keep, tr so it tells, because I know when you put an unreleased game on your wish list, it says like, hey, this game is now available. Go get it. Which is nice. I wish I could just free paint construction here. I wish it didn't have to be one direction. I wish I could just like draw it like a, like a pencil. So it's less of a headache. Is what I want. Or is what I need. Cloth, pigtail, masterpiece. Everything's doing good. Everyone's building. Right, you know what? Fuck it. I can multitask. What am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I'm multitasking. Let's get down there. We're we're going down into the caves, goddammit. We're going down into the goddamn caves. Even though they suck. Even though they're garbage. Garbage caves. But I'm going down in them. Beautiful. In fact, I'm going to do multiple staircases. Because you never know. 
Is this wait? Is this all the cave I have? Because you're there's three layers of cave and then the magma. Okay, no, no. I I still have plenty of other caves to discover. I hope I find anything else because the fact that these caves have no, not a single thing in them is bonkers. The fact that it's all just cave spiders is nuts. I looked at my wish list, reminded me that I'm still waiting on Stalker 2 five more months. I hope it's good. A caravan. <gasps> a caravan is here. A caravan is here. From the capital. Huzzah. Oh, man. They don't have a wagon. It's just a horse. Deeper, deeper we go. What's your guys' most anticipated upcoming release? God, I don't know. Expansive cave, expansive cave? Where's my expansive cave? Oh, nice. Oh shit, I need to immediately block that off. Oh shit. There's fucking spiders there. I need to immediately block that off. Um, God, I don't know. Honestly, um, the adventure mode deal, the adventure mode update for Dwarf Fortress, I'm really excited about. That comes out in April. Um, the RimWorld DLC that was just announced, that comes out. I'm really excited for that. Um, that's going to be a fun DLC, and I think we're going to play that on stream. Um... Basically a lot of DLC, no whole games. I'm thinking about getting Dragon's Dogma, but if 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 it's ha having such a hard time um, running the game and streaming at the same time, I think I'm going to hold off on getting it because I'm worried it's not going to it's not going to stream. It's not going to stream right because I do want to stream it if I do get it. Another expansive cave, a deep pit. Oh fuck yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is the cave I want with all the mushroom trees. Look at this, beautiful, dense under lichen, beautiful, beautiful tubes, dimple cups, nether caps, goblin caps, beautiful, lovely fucking cave. That's what I'm looking for. That's the kind of shit I want. And hopefully, I'll gain an entrance in which I will have travelers come and rest. Yeah, RimWorld stream is going to be awesome. I can't wait for the DLC. I hope I haven't announced the date yet, but I think they're going to do It's fucked up. They're going to do it around the same time Dwarf Fortress gets their adventure mode update. So, I'm going to have to figure out a way to split my attention between the two, which I'm not particularly excited about. So, yeah, mostly DLC. No full-blown games I'm actually excited about now that I think about it. Need them to build these. Need them to build these floors, man. Great, I'm right next to a right next to a beautiful little nook in which I can create kind of an offset base, which I will create. What the fuck was that? Did you guys fucking see that? Do you guys wait? Did you guys not see that? Hold up, I know we're talking about like. Games right, giant rat, giant rat got just snuck it. Just like he just like sprinted into my goddamn cave. Giant rat, kill, kill giant rat. I'm gonna follow this giant rat. 
What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing in my fucking fort? He's moving. What are you doing in my fort? Yeah, get the fuck out of my fort. Don't you go back in. I'm killing this rat. I'm killing this rat. All right, hammer dwarves, it's time. Kill the rat. Kill the rat. He's scurrying around. He's too fucking big. Kill the goddamn rat. Oh, he's running. Okay, he's running. He's running. He's scared. He's running. He heard the dwarves were coming. He's running. He heard me talking. Shit. He Damn it. I should have been more quiet about it. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is a Drolta? This is why you open up the caves, guys. You start getting weird shit. What is that? What are you? Values, preferences, nothing. This likes helping others. Is this like, are you evil? I don't even know, I don't even know what this thing is. But it's alive. You open up the caves and then sh all sorts of fucked up creatures start making the home here. Okay, there we go. That giant rat is now unable to make it. <laughs> We're safe from the giant rat. Um, I don't need anything from you guys. Well, maybe... I maybe would like a gorilla. Do you guys have gorillas? They don't offer gorillas. No gorillas from the mountain homes, unfortunately. You have dogs? Oh. You have dogs? Because I do, I would like some dogs. Great. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get some boars. It's time. They want fish and metal bars. Well, we got one of those. Um, all right, let's take a break from the from the caves just for a second so we can manage our trade here. Where are you? There you are. Move goods. Um, you move these, move those, move these. Move all these cut gems. Just move all of them, and we'll figure out where to put them later. Beautiful gems. People love beautiful gems. Ethas are massive creatures who dwell on the first and second underground layers. They don't actively seek fights, but are huge creatures about half the weight of an elephant and able to kill a dwarf with ease, often ripping them in half in the process. Is it advisable to herd them into it is advisable to herd them into cage traps or keep dwarves away from them if they make their way into commonly used pathways, as they will attack dwarves if brushed by them enough. Well, luckily that's not happening right now. Is my guy alive? I will check for you in but a moment. But a moment. I'm just selling some things really quick. Alright, that's everything. Did I not do it? Oh, I hate when I do that. Oh, bother. I have to redo it. It's all cut gems. There we go. Oh, no, they are being moved. Cool. Um, is my guy alive? No dwarf has died. Not a single dwarf except for except for Arvid the Music Senior. They died exploring the depths of hell. But that is to be expected. Um, Haley, you're good. You're doing great. You're the only one who's died because it was your <laughs> you you fell you accidentally stumbled into a volcano, which is a rare thing to happen for a dwarf to accidentally slip and fall. I think you were just a little too drunk. You like you picked you, you picked the craziest place. You picked the craziest spot to drink beer, which was at the very edge of the volcano. And then I think when you when dwarves are drunk, they they stumble just a little bit, just for a little bit, and then they go back to normal. So like when you first start drinking as a dwarf, you are a little bit drunk. So it was like a I don't know the the statistical odds, but you were like in the worst place to start drinking beer. Spectacular way to die, yeah. I mean, it's a great... I mean, you've become a martyr for the entire... Entire civilization, so you're you're fine. Um, Arvid the Music Jr. is playing make-believe right now. 
Um, they haven't really learned any new skills. Although you're no longer rusty at your um, delegation skills. You're an adequate intimidator now. So whatever you've been, whatever make-believe you've been doing, you've gotten way better at intimidating. Um, you're still a dabbling musician, but now you're a dabbling singer as well. And an adequate poet. But you haven't written poetry in a long time. That's another thing we need to do. We need to eventually start making a library. He's just like me. He's just like me for real. He's just like you for real. Okay. We just need one more floor to be built there. One more wall to be built here. And then we'll be safe from the caves until we actually want to be in them. Which one is the real Arvin? What are you talking about? In the chat? Or in the game? The real Arvin's dead. In the game. In Minecraft. But, um... His... His sacrifice will live on forever. Sweet damn time building the safety walls there. Um, broker requested a depot. Get in there. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I need you the trade. Where are you? All right, what do they got? All these beautiful different types of wood? Lychee wood? Goblin cap? I'll take some goblin cap just for fun. Bloodthorn looks cool. That's awesome. Get some lye barrels. Why not? Get some leather. You can never have enough leather. Bunch of prepared donkey meat. Uh, no thanks. Cave lobster, why not? You know, let's take some pond turtles because they can provide shells and we may need shells for an artifact. If someone doesn't have shelves, they'll go crazy and kill themselves. We don't want to do that. So we'll get some pond turtles. Plenty of plump helmets, we don't need those. We'll get some strawberries though. Ooh, blueberries. Grapes, yeah. Cranberries. Raspberries, passion fruit, yummy. Some silk spider thread. Kill them shelves. Um, wow, that's really all you brought? That's um, insane. That's so little money. Awesome. I guess I'll give you some amethyst and a couple of cap uh, smoky quartz. And praise. Let's give you some of my shit, my shit gems. I don't need these. There. Trade. All right. Thanks for nothing, genius. I guess I'll just keep going back to my. How do I? There's there's a way to set. Um. F1 keys. Pull up. How to bookmark. Z levels in Dwarf Fortress. Because I know there's a way to create um, shortcuts so that you don't have to scroll up and down everywhere. Hotkeys, F1 hot key, hot, 
the slot zoom here right to current view to that slot oh sweet okay cool so i'm going to go all the way down to here this is going to be hotkeys There we go. This is going to be F1 is going to be F1 is going to be um, deep caverns. Beautiful. So now every time I press F1, it will bring us up there, which will save my save me countless amounts of scrolling. And then here, I will make fortress main. which will make it so whenever I press F2, I'm back here. So F1, down here, F2, back there. So now I never have to scroll again. All right. Cool. Okay, so that is all done. We don't have to worry about trading anymore. Um, Wrote no trader needed at the trading depot now. Our green glass production is going swimmingly. Swimmingly. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. What else can we start doing here? How's our wall production? Is that actually taking off? No? Is it because that block is there? Every time there's an andesite block, they like they lose the ability to function. It's very quite annoying. Actually, hold up. Suspend that. Start destroying this. Building on a slope is never fun. But sometimes it must be done. Once we have this outlined, it's going to be awesome because I have so many plans for little contraptions we're going to build here. That is, of course, if we can actually get raided from the top side, which again I've mentioned since we're on a desolate, like we're on a, a deserted island, not connected to the mainland, I don't think we can get sieges. I may be wrong, but I don't think we can. So we may be actually completely safe. That's why I opened up the caves, so we're not completely safe. Because this game is not fun if you're completely safe. All you're doing is just basically watching ants in a colony. Sometimes you just want to take a little glass of water and pour a glass of water in the ant colony and just see what happens. Or maybe maybe you want to pick up some sort of like spider and you want to drop the spider onto the ant colony to see what happens. You know, it's, 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 it's stuff like that. The spice of life, right? Sometimes you want to dig deeper. This music of game makes me feel like I'm at Hobby Lobby in the toy section looking at the little animals. That's great. That's the that's the vibe I want. That's the vibe I want you to have. Why are they not just created? There's nothing blocking the site now. You can now create the wall. Wait, I'm stupid. I just told them to do that. I specifically told them to suspend the creation of that one. That was goofy of me. Build some walls here. I wish there was a way to build a bridge to the mainland, because imagine how cool that would be if you're like a fortress that built a giant bridge that spans an ocean to get to the mainland. That would be so fucking sick. But alas, as complex and beautiful this game is, there's some, some things you just can't do. 
and that's one of them. Some things are just too out of the out of the question. I am excited. They are planning on a big update though, called the Myth and Legends update. They're gonna add magic. They're gonna add, like God, uh, divine intervention. It's gonna be phenomenal. I can't wait. It's gonna take a million years for them to do it, but still. How do you get to the mainland? You can't. Um, I made a little bit of an oopsie when picking our island because I wanted it to be an island getaway and it's right here so that means all the surface dwelling creatures except for the capital um, won't visit me because they can't they can't like physically move to me the capital can because that's just something that can always happen I have no control over that um, but I can't get like elves can't trade of me humans can't trade of me um, I'm pretty sure eventually, once you have access through your underdark area, through here, through the caves, I think eventually they can reach you. I, st I mean, I, but I may be wrong with that too. I may be so incredibly wrong with that as well. So it's I don't know. So no boats, no boats. They do plan on adding boats, but it's like not anytime soon. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to add boats, but it's it's going to be... Like... I don't know. I couldn't even give you a time. I couldn't even give you a time. It would be, it'd be years from now. Years from now. So let's see here. We need to have an entrance into the caves. One that can be defensible. And one that can be blocked off. Because we do want to catch little creatures we find down here. But we do need a way into the caves. And it would be nice to bring all of our um, cattle down here so they can graze on the under lichen instead of the grass. So they are safe above ground. But again, I, if nothing can run into us, I guess they'll be safe above ground no matter what I try. You're an SDV guy? What's that? I may be an SDV guy. I'm just not familiar with the acronym. Enlighten me. Enlighten me on what the SDV is. Stardew Valley, yes. Um, not so much right now. Autumn and I had a big Stardew Valley uh, phase. Just a few weeks ago, actually. We were playing the shit out of that game. We get, we get the urge once in a while. Um, but I have heard about the new update coming out. That they're adding, like, different clothing... They're adding a bunch more stuff. It's like 1.6, right? Yeah. Next Tuesday it drops? Holy shit. I'm kind of half tempted to stream it, but it... I can't add another... I can't in good conscience stream Stardew Valley for you guys because I know I wouldn't continue it. You know what I mean? I want to stream it, but like I know all the updates, like the new content they're adding is like kind of late game for the most part. And I just wouldn't be able to stream it for long enough to get you guys, get to late game to look at the new content. It'd have to be a game I'm already streaming to do it. But that's cool. That's coming out next Tuesday. I didn't know that. It very much is like a DLC kind of time for me. Like, it's rare. I'm usually, I'm usually waiting for like one game to come out per year. But now I'm waiting for like three DLC to come out. Which I'm very excited about. Um, that's cool that the Stardew Valley one's coming soon. I'm like, obviously when Haunted Chocolatier comes out, I'm playing the fuck out of that on stream. Like, ain't no way I'm not gonna play that game on stream. But who knows when Haunted Chocolatier is gonna come out. I mean, it took the guy, it took Stardew Valley guy, like, what, four or five years to make Stardew Valley? Before he even, like, released it as early access or something like that? It was like, he was working on it for such a long time before he actually released it. So I'm sure Haunted Chocolatier is going to take him a minute, which I'm fine with. I'd rather he take as long as he likes to make the perfect game than waste my time by rushing it and making a subpar game. Because that'd be so sad to find out that Haunted Chocolatier is going to be, would be a mediocre game. I know it's not because he's, he's putting a lot of work into it. The time is after Concerned Ape has had his coffee and sees no problems. Yeah. 
and that is that is anywhere between five years to ten years. I mean, now that he has the assets from Stardew Valley to spend more time onto something, uh, he's definitely gonna do that. And I want him to do that. I'd rather he do that. Me too. The screenshots for Honda Chocolatier are beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 what's awesome about it is it's addressing all the things that I had not really concerns, but all the things I wish were better in Stardew Valley, like the combat. I wish there was a storefront you could run in the game. And that's about it. Like running a store and better combat is the two things that Stardew Valley missed. And Haunted Chocolatier is, is literally adding those two things, like a more of an RPG element to it. And if you're still farming in the game and you still got the other like Stardew Valley like charm to it, it just sounds like it's gonna be basically a better fucking game. And that's like, that's saying a lot, because Stardew Valley is probably one of the best farming games, like, ever. I would say ever. It's definitely like, if I were to rate all of them that I've played, and I haven't played that many. I've played a lot of Harvest Moon, a lot of Rune Factory, but it's better than all of those. It's everything good from those games put in the one, so. Hi, Llama. We're talking about games and generally, frankly, gaming. It's great that we're having this conversation that I don't have to like. Gives me a break from talking about Dwarf Fortress because right now all I'm doing is putting floors down. I'm not really doing anything exciting. I'm just doing housekeeping, necessary housekeeping. You want your fort to look pretty. You can't have it all just be raw stone forever. You know what I mean? Eventually. You want to clean that shit up. Games and gaming all in one place. I know. The best of both worlds. You can have your games and play them too. The amount of... Andesite blocks is like fluctuating consistently. Starter Valley. Wait, the wood the wood texture he had inside one of the buildings was like rich chocolate brown. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm catching up on the chat here because I was quite honestly looking not at chat. It's great on its own, but with mods is so much better. Yeah, I don't play Starter Valley enough to mod it. Um Starter Valley is one of those games where like I barely I don't even think I got to the end game, because quite frankly, end game is very much like optional it feels like it feels like only a sense if you're like obsessed with the game enough to keep playing it all the end game stuff is just like quality of life things but by the time i reach the point where i need like like by the time i reach the point where the grandpa gives you the evaluation i already have everything ready to go and i already have kind of like iridium items or, or tools and at that point i'm like eh, i'm good i figured it out Stardew is one of those games that loses its value with mods for me. I saw the Stardew Expanded mod and just thought it was too much. Yeah, I don't know. I, I get the idea. I, I like the idea of, like, you know, aesthetic mods for it. I've seen that. Like, things that change the look of the game. I don't know. I can't really say much about ones that add content. Because, again, I, I barely get far enough in the game even to justify, try, like, wanting new things in it. Hey, okay, let's think here for a moment. I want an accessible entrance into my... I want an accessible entrance into from the caves, but it needs to be defensible. So I think what I'm going to do is something like this. I do a fun little, fun little, fun little thing here. Fun little like snake maneuver. So I'm not gonna do this wall. No, 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 no. It needs to open up to a ballista point. And ballistas are 
Let me double check how big ballistas are. Ballista are how many blocks big? Quite big. Three by three? Okay. So then I'm going to mine this three by three spot out. Then I'm going to have this little area. I'm going to have a little area for archers eventually. Is basically what I'm going to do here. are going to be able to defend this area like so. And then we'll build a bridge here, several bridges here, and then they'll get locked in the kill pits is the idea. And it looks sick too. Cool. Yeah, the expanded is too much for me too. I like the retexture, recolor, and rebuilding texture, retextures. Or building retextures. I gotcha. What is Stardew Valley extended? Like, what does it add? What could it add that's like, does it add like new, like new, uh, like crops or whatever? Like new events? Like how much does it actually add to the game? Other, is it just like items? Times more stars, 40% more do. Holy smokes! Oh shit, we got more migrants. 94 dwarves. Okay, I it is confirmed for me that we are not gonna get sieged. The fact that I have almost a hundred dwarves already and we have yet to have a single goblin siege leads me to believe that we're never gonna have. I need to add more squad members to the piece. Who wants to fight? You want to fight. You want to fight. And I need two more hammers. Copper. Where is it? Smith. Copper. Oh, whoops, I was muted. New events, new villagers, houses. See, that stuff, that's way too much. Besides, and I'm sure, I I'm not, I not—I don't wanna make too much judgment before actually like knowing what the game, like what this actually adds and what the mod creators are capable of. But whenever a game adds, whenever modders add like a new character or quest line, and stuff to a video game, like a pre-existing video game, nine times out of 10, they kind of suck. Or they're like janky, you know? There's always, there's always like the voice acting's really bad or like the writing's really bad or the AI's really bad. And like, there's sometimes there are things that are like acceptable and you're like, ah, I can get over this. You know, the rest of the mod is so good. But for me, if I were every time I've tried like a modded quest line, I've always been like icked out by enough things that I'm like, I don't want to do this quest line because it's not like it, it doesn't fall in line perfectly with my expectations for how this how quests are supposed to be like in this game. You know what I mean? Adds way too many villagers. How many? Yeah, hold up. The Crystalline Guild has many members and they would like a Crafts Dwarf Guild. 
Fine. Uh, fine. I'll make you a fucking guild hall. Ruining my day. I don't know where I'm gonna do it. I guess I could... I'm not gonna do it in the Walmart. I don't know, man. The, um, I'm gonna just put you... I'm gonna put you right here, buddy. Right here. How many more pickaxes? How many pickaxes do I have? Six? I need more. I need more pickers. Pickers. I need more pickers. Weapons, copper, pick. Weapons. Pick. There we go. I have no idea, but way too many for me to enjoy playing. Yeah, that's it makes it like a full-blown city, I bet. Which is just not how Stardew Valley is supposed to work. Can you build a Costco where they go for free samples of food? I that could that's an idea that I mean, so right now this is where they eat. I could build this out to look like a Costco, although there's no red, I don't have any red rocks. So there's no way to really fully tell you that it's a, it's a Costco, you know what I'm saying? Like we'd have, it, it would, like this is barely a Walmart, but it's blue. So if someone asks, what is this? I'll be like, this is Walmart. And they'll be like, oh, because it's blue. You know what I mean? But Costco, I don't have anything red. So I don't know how I'd work that out. build a full wall in here and then I gotta smooth it and I'll erase these I'm gonna build gem windows made out of cut green glass Gonna make a beer bottle windows for these guys, because I couldn't be asked. And then I'm gonna have them smooth that. Do we have any doors? I'm so hype, it's insane. For Stardew Valley 1.6. It's dumb how many good updates are coming out for sim games. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just not... I'm, I'll be real with you. Probably just not going to play Stardew Valley. Because there's just no way I can do it. There's no way I can play Stardew Valley, the 1.6 update. Play the Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode update. And the RimWorld DLC. I think I'd like go insane. I think I would lose my mind. Like why, why do they all have to happen now? Like I, I play all three of these games. I can't do it. I, I, I'm, it would, it would kill me. Easy, make a clone. What? So he can enjoy the game and not me? Yeah, right. Over my dead body. <laughs> what happened here? Why is my glass window all fucked up? Why is it? <laughs> Why is there? Is this how they decided to do the glass? I'm not sure that's how that's supposed to work. That's not supposed to be how, like, this is how they're supposed to look. Gem window. What happened there? Why is that? You know what? What the fuck? That's so ugly. It just looks like you put gems on the ground. Disassemble this. I don't know why it's not working like a normal normal gem window. That's frustrating. That's not right. How do I make that right? I'm 
I'm just gonna make a glass window. I'm gonna make glass windows. Give me a second here. Green glass window. Green glass window. Probably because it's like glass gems and it's just ugly as hell. Get two more arms. I would need two. I we need an extra head too. Otherwise, my head would explode. Is it because it's a different direction? No, no. It's like all the tiles are the same direction at all times. I couldn't tell you why. Could not give you a good reason why. Meeting area. Accept. Guild hall. It's going to be for the crafts dwarf. Craft dwarf hall. Crystalline guild. I think that's what they were called. I'm hoping just making them glass windows will be enough. They'll fix it. They'll fix my problem. I missed that little scam. Well, if I if I perch if Dragon's Dogma 2 runs on my computer, I'm gonna buy it because I'm probably gonna still play Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, if it can be streamed, we'll try streaming it. If it can be streamed, you'll see that little gremlin again. But uh, if it can't be streamed, you may see him only one other time, and then then we'll have a, a ceremony. Well, we put them the rest forever. Okay. The glass windows are being built. Good. Shop, since it's a craft craft dwarf shop, I'm gonna put craftsmanship crafts. There we go. Boom. Ooh, yeah. I'm. Mean, you know what? I'm gonna make it out of green glass too. I think that'll be poetic and beautiful. Glass workbenches. Why not? Workshop. Let's build some furniture here. Why not? Let's build a table. They're all bedazzled in green glass. It's going to be beautiful. I took a screenshot of his smile. You should post it in the Discord so we can always remember him. Mmm, yummy. I forgot about the salt lick. So they're just dumb at building windows? That's probably it, honestly. They're probably just dumb at windows. Let's see. Let's see if they build a window. Here we go. This dwarven child built it. it. All we needed was child labor. It's the dwarven children doing it. It's just child labor. That's all we needed to do. That was our problem. need this to be a little bit more expensive. We'll do some engraving on the floors. Our children love child labor. They love it. They're always talking about how much they love laboring. Work order, bed. Make bed, we need fucking 15 bed. Send the kids to the mines. Unfortunately, they can't do any jobs. They can only haul things. So they only they can only do menial labor. They can't do any blue collar work, unfortunately. Not yet. One of these days. Oh shit. Oh fuck when well, my stray donkeys died. 
Oh, I forgot to, I forgot that these guys bring animals with them. How annoying. How annoying. Hold up. I gotta go assign them to their to their den. Where is it? Add animals. All these stray I need to start killing these. I need to start killing these fucking animals. I don't need any of these guys. I don't need any of this shit. All these bulls. I need to I need to kill some of my animals. Pets and livestock. How many how many do like cows do I have? I've got too many. Too many damn cows. Kill. And kill. And who else needs to die? A bunch of horses? No. No, no one else is no one else is really breeding. You have these reindeers. Water buffalo. Okay, everyone else gets to live. They're lucky. They're lucky all these other grazing animals get to live for now. For now. There we go. It's not a it's not a guild hall. It's a guild hall. It's $2,000. It's a guild hall. Make it a guild hall. You swine? Yeah, I'll put a chair down. There. Put a bedazzled stone chair. That should tip it over into a into a guild hall. Mama, Papa, please send me into the mines. I wish to labor. Mama, Papa, please let me labor. Oh, I so deeply wish to have labored. Please. Amethyst, migrants, blah, blah, blah. Copper picks. Okay. Military, you. Quit. Oh, good. They're all equipped with weapons. Full inventory, the piece. Let's see. Blind is now a Grandmaster, High Master Fighter, and a Grandmaster in Discipline. These, these dwarves are going to go crazy. We're going to go nuts once we actually get to kill something. One of these days we'll get to kill something. Okay, alright. We need to stop with the pig with the cloth. We need to... We need to fucking stop. The amount of cloth is less than... I don't know. 25. Stop making cloth. We don't need it. Green glass crown? Green glass scepter? How's our shit doing here? Everything doing good? Resume that. Keep on building the wall here. Again, we're making this grand entrance on the outside, but I don't really think anyone's ever going to come here. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I must persevere. I must. Ooh. Stodir Anthelier Planter has been possessed. Where are you? What the fuck? Where are you at? There you are. They're possessed, so they're not going to gain any skills, but they're going to create a masterpiece, and they're going to make it at the Metal Forge. Oh, shit. So it's going to be made out of a copper and a site. Oh, it's going to be lame, man. Lame, lame. All these other gems and crystals we have, too, you know? Like, green glass. All these beautiful gems. We have, like, gold bars in here. Silver, lead, copper, iron. Boatload of copper and iron. What's stopping them? Ridiculous. But maybe it'll be cool. Maybe it'll be like carved with shit. You know, you never know. Copper and andesite. This is Minecraft. Holy shit! I think you might be onto something. I 
How is this not a guild hall yet? How is it still not a guild hall? This is goofy. Make a guild. Make it a guild hall. I don't know what else to tell you. Just turn it in the way. Make some copper tables while we're here. Copper table. Make like make like six copper tables. Stodir Anthelier Planter has crafted Beamblodin Beam Beamblinod, a copper low boot. A singular low boot? She offers it to the fateful of the beer. Okay, thanks. Awesome, man. No, cool. A, a single boot? You couldn't make two? Like, your creative energy only... Only allow you to make one boot. We'll read the artifact in a second. Just give me a second. Just place in some beds. I also gotta build some andesite cabinets. I need them to make 15 rock cabinets out of andesite. All right, what is this item here? Objects, artifacts, the mechanical gates, a treasure of the fateful of beer. This is a copper low boot. All craft or ship is the highest quality. It's encircled with bands of copper. On the item is an image of skinny branded, the golden spear and andesite. So one of our other artifacts that was claimed as a um, family heirloom, which is a, a awesome golden spear with beautiful yak leather handle. They, they engraved that on this boot. So it's like, imagine a croc with like one of those little, like, you know, the little croc, um, little attachments you can get for the holes. They made a little spear that kind of attaches to the hole of the little copper croc. Good night. I've got stuff I gotta do early tomorrow. Bye bye. Well, thanks for dropping by. Thank you so much. You got to witness a beautiful creation being made. So, congratulations before you left, but have a good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, ten wood bins. Fuck it. Gallmart? Dwalmart? Oh my god, it's not Walmart, guys. It's Dwalmart. Like, dwarf? How did I not see it before? How could I have been so blind? How could I have been so blind? Snowstorm has come. Gold? Oh, we may have to worry about that. Stay dwarfing. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Please become a guild hall. Please, why, why aren't you a guild hall? What am I missing? It's just barely under 2,000. Okay, I just don't get it. Next at 2,000. Are we just not at 2,000 yet? I'm failing to understand. I'm gonna build a armor rack. I don't know. Military. Weapon rack. I'm gonna put that like right, right here in the corner. Surely, surely that'll be enough. And engrave these too. In, in fact, engrave all of this. It's not enough for you, animals. Calendars are time maps. Damn. That's all you got today? I mean, that's a big. That's a big, um. Big conclusion to come to. Damn, you got me thinking hard about that one. You got me ruminating on that. Hold up. I'm having some deep introspective thoughts now. Thanks. Yeah, I was cooking for a bit. It's good. You cooked good. All right, back down here. So we've started this up. So this is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna carve these into Entrenchments. What are they called? I 
know what they're called, but we're carving a gap in the wall so archers can fire out of it. And then we're going to build destruction, bridge, drawbridge here. Actually, first we're going to do this. Channel this all out. So the way this is going to work is basically enemies will come in through like a dip in the ground and then they will be trapped in there and when they're trapped in there we can just fire at them with crossbows and they die that's kind of the idea I'm hoping for at least call me crockpot the way I kind of cook a little slow sometimes <laughs> Call me, call me a crockpot the way you be, the way if you flick me just the right way, I spew hot steam. Is that anything? Is that a good one? And make those all into sniper holes. I don't think this is going to work the way I want it to, but oh well. That's fine by me, honestly. I want to do kitchen appliance pickup lines. I think it'd be good. We'll lay one on me. Lay another one on me. I'm ready for it. Give it to me. I'm ready. They have to be nonsensical. Let me think of one. Call me a... Call me a microwave the way you can't turn me on unless you close the door. Pretty good, huh? What's another one? Hey girl, are you like a French press? Because I want to fill you with beans and squeeze your juices out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. This is... Oh, fuck. This is why you don't... This is... Oh, shit. Okay. This is why you don't do this. Oh, they're, they're running from us. Never mind. We're good. God, these things look fucking scary. What the hell? Elk birds? Don't run in there. Get out of my fort. They like immediately were like, oh shit, I got to get in on that. The moment I opened up a hole <laughs> into the, into my base, like relax. What are you doing in here? You little fucks. Get the fuck out of my house. You pieces of shit. What? Oh shit. Wait, I got to get rid of one of these. I'm going to mine this real quick. Write that down, write it down. I will not. I will let you write it down. I will let time figure it out. Because if I write it... Wait, what is going on? Because if I write it down, then I can't remember... Then I can't say it off the cuff again and be like, dang, that's a good one. I should write that down. You know what I mean? If you keep, if you keep it going. 
find this so I can build this. So I can build that. These damn elk birds are trying to get into my... Get the fuck... What are they doing? Get the fuck out of my base, you little animals. You little rapscallions. Look, they're just fucking meandering up and down my stair. <laughs> I'm getting infested by wild beasts of the Underdark. Just get out of here. Shoo. Oh, my God. A whole herd got in here. What the hell am I going to do now? Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Was that the whole playlist? No. Okay, we didn't. We're, we have not been streaming for six hours. Okay, this is going to link. Okay, mechanism shoot. All these elk birds just—they're like really causing a problem for me. I don't like that. I mean, they're harmless. They're like cattle. But I don't like that they're just hanging out in my kill zone, my kill box like this. It's not right. Mechanisms, right? Make them now. Make them right now. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna just we're gonna link up these bridges. We're gonna make sure these bridges work, and then I'm gonna call it for the night. Call me. Oh, I didn't read this. I'm sorry. Call me a toast of the way. I potentially I'm potentially dangerous to stick a fork in me. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a great one. What happened? Where did all where? all my glass where the hell did all my glass gems go to why are they why do they do this I hate that they fucking do this you cannot have glass gems in this oh I told them to that's why because I'm a doofus get this out of here green glass I don't care for that get rid of it restore it over here you dinguses This has legs, I'm just drunk. No, no, you just keep cooking on it. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Just keep cooking. I need some wood. That. Always a million things to do, huh? Holy G. Now I should be able to link these, right? Link lever to this. Link lever. Not yet. Almost there. trap these guys in here if they keep this <laughs> they keep running in here like I'm just gonna pull the lever and they're gonna be stuck in there and then we're gonna kill them I don't know what else to say so once this is linked together we'll call it and while we're waiting for those to link let us look for some of the raid huh anyone playing Dwarf Fortress still at this time of night we do we do we do, we do, we do. We have, we have the guy who has 49 people. Channel opened. Let's get ready for goblins. Fascinating. We must be in the midst of a goblin war. All right. 
We're going to raid another guy playing Dwarf Fortress once we're done here. Send him, give him some Poggles. Give him some Poggles. Get ready with the Poggles. Not quite leaving yet, but get ready with the Poggles. If you're still watching the stream and you want to watch some more Dwarf Fortress, get ready with the Poggles. Send this guy some Poggles. Hit him, yeah, hit him with the pickup lines. Test your pickup lines on this guy, because you never know. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you just need, you need, like, I mean, I'm going to say yes to any pickup line you give me related to household appliances. You need, you need a third party involved. Someone who's not so close to home. Okay, we've linked this up. Let's build a wall here. I just hope the person doesn't build it where they're trapped, because that would make me so incredibly angry. These elk birds, I honestly don't. They're just going to wander into our fortress. That's fine. They're harmless. Okay, the kill box is created. The gate is open. We'll close it once we have this wall constructed. Once someone gets around to actually constructing it, which will be great. But please take your time, by all means. Don't let me stop you. Why is no one making our bins? Don't we? Can I have a work order for bins right now? Damn, how many bins? Make more bins. How many bins are we using right now? More. Make ten. Oh, Zeldikins, thank you. I'm going to finish up my water for the night. Mm. Appreciate it. Ooh, clean, refreshing spring water. Reasonable. Where are you? Come on now. Build the construction. Construct the wall. Build the wall. Just build a little wall for me. Don't be shy. Build, build a little itty bitty wall. What are they all working on right now? They must be hauling a lot of things or something. Something I'm not seeing. And why are there andesite blocks here? Better be moving those into the block storage. And why are there bins of blocks here? What are all these bins doing here? There's no bins allowed in this storage. Don't you guys have any? Don't you have the rules? Don't you know anything about rules, regulations? Whatever. That's where all our bins are going. I was wondering where all our damn bins were going to. Just throwing them in our pile. Yeah. Get him! Show him who's boss. Have you built the wall yet? Who built the wall? My phone just said it like perked up when I said build the wall. What are they telling me? Alright, you know what? I don't need to wait for the wall. <laughs> I don't need to wait for the wall. We're ending it. <laughs>